Libra, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Let us dive right in. It does appear right now like there is a, a really need to just understand that clarity and answers always come. It doesn't matter if it's in the form of, of a relationship. It doesn't matter if it's in the form of career or finances. Either way, going within and receiving that stillness or giving yourself that time of stillness is going to always produce the results that you're looking for. Because right now we can see that there is an energy here of you giving too much of your time and attention into something that isn't reciprocating your energy back. And you really want to be aware of what this is, because this is going to indicate a, a pause or a lull in any of your creation or in the amount of energy that you have in a day. If you're feeling like you aren't feeling like very rejuvenized or very energetic, very inspired. It is because your attention has been being placed into an area of life that again, isn't reciprocating that energy, people pleasing, um, you know, saying yes, when you want to say no, you know, maybe perhaps, you know, telling yourself and stressing yourself out, I got to do this, you know, or I'm not good enough, or I've got to make this happen. And all of these things just end up putting us in an energetic burnout, right? And it's the message of like, right now, for instance, we feel like there may have been a little bit more attention towards someone in your life. Okay. That the way that you are thinking about this person isn't again feeling that reciprocative energy back and forth. Now, generally it's not the actual person itself, it's how you're thinking about them that generally taxes you because no matter what, our energy is always our energy and we're always responsible for it. So whatever this person may be doing that may be upsetting you, know that that's a trigger within you that needs to be healed and actually has nothing to do with that other person. But when we do get triggered, we, we, intend, we tend to blame or complain or say things and that ends up depleting our energy because we are giving our energy away to something that isn't real. And the universe just wants you to dial that back and asks you to place your focus more from a, a kind place in your heart a love, the loving place you're in, the higher self part of you, not the smaller self part of you that feels like you need to defend yourself, but the part of you that is in the knowing, that is connected, who you really are, right? And that's going to come again by just taking that break, taking that pause, taking that stillness. Universe in general wants you to take some time away from whatever it has, whatever it is that you have been going through, perhaps a painful experience with somebody in your life. But either way, we do have the wasp spirit card coming forward, which is sometimes life stings. And again, this is the insinuation that going through, going through a little bit of a painful time, painful experience. However, this painful time is implemented for you to grow, expand, and evolve. And we can see this here with the two of cups, right? So this being a relationship, someone in your life that's very close to you, right? Coworker maybe, but either way, this is the insinuation that there is somebody in your life that the relationship is going to expand and grow through, but, and grow from, but not without its adversity. Cause we must face adversity to, to get to those lessons sometimes that our souls really want to expand through. You know what I mean? Like we're, no one learns through cupcakes and butterflies. You know, we just stay the same. If everything was good, we're staying the same. But it's those painful, hard, difficult, challenging times in life that allows us to see things differently. And it's through these challenging times that spirit asks you to lean towards them instead of your scared, defensive, wounded self. Forget the complaining, forget the negativity, forget the pointing out someone's flaws, forget the fear, forget the worry, lean into spirit. What does that mean? That means lean into this awareness that when you prioritize having your focus, 
Say, for instance, within your heart, just put your awareness, just how if you look at point up or, or lift up your finger and you're looking at your finger and your awareness is now in the tip of your finger. Same thing with your heart. We know it's here. Put your awareness in your heart and breathe into your heart. This is going to reconnect you to your angels and your team in the universe. The longer that you practice this, the easier it will be. So that's why we recommend a consistent practice every morning of doing this, just breathing into your heart for a few, for a few breaths, you know, because ultimately at the end of the day, when you are aligned with your higher self, you attract in those beings that are also aligned to that, to your higher self, you see? And so then we are able to expand and grow together. When we are in our smaller self perspective and we are amongst those around us, always know that there is going to be some conflict because it's defense against defense, right? Wounded child versus wounded child. So the name of the game is to always bring forth a feeling of safety and then all will come to fruition. Now we can see here that it is time with the friendship card coming forward to really prioritize spending more time socializing with positive people and positive influences, okay? Your soul family will find you the more that you follow the inspiration and the passion in your life, okay? Do what excites you, Libra. Get fired up about your life, you know? Find a creative way to, you know, maybe set a goal for yourself or a challenge for yourself, something that you've maybe always wanted to do, something that you've always wanted to create. Maybe a way to kind of blend in, you know, what you've been doing and, and what you want to do and kind of just kind of organically let this process unfold altogether um, or even better because we are on the subject here of relationships whether plutonic or romantic but either way here know this know that when it comes to relationships it's always about it's always about recognizing that being in the energy and the state of your higher self is going to bring you the results you're looking for, right? Because if you're reacting to the person that's across from you, from a wounded version of yourself, it's not going to be your authentic voice. It's not going to be who you really are. And you're going to end up saying something or doing something that's going to be very hurtful to yourself and to that other person, right? Because again, it's your scared, wounded inner child. And that's absolutely okay. We all go through those moments. But know that from that fear is actually um, in deep in there is something that you're asking to be healed and something Something that you're actually desiring most. For instance, we fear when our partners are out too late and we start to second guess ourselves and then we might think different things and we might be worried, let's just say, or when they don't message back, right? But again, that's going to hit a trigger inside of yourself of feeling some sort of unworthiness or you don't believe in yourself or you're doubting yourself, okay? That comes from self-doubt within yourself. When you're connected to your higher self, you trust that all will be well and whatever is happening is meant to be for the highest good. And whether it is something that maybe your smaller self might have not wanted to hear, either way, it's always for your highest good to have heard, to have realized that information. You see how the difference is, right? So being connected will always bring you the results you're looking for no matter what, right? And ultimately, at this time, it really is important to really recognize what your intuition is telling you here. We do have the intuition card that came forward. Really important to be listening to what your, your inner voice is saying, your Libra. And again, really connecting to that higher, um, your higher self that is going to bring forward all of the answers. But right now, it's important to understand that all will be well right? But from a place of hurt and disappointment generally comes the energy of taking on more than you need to, okay? And you don't need to at this time. This is something that the universe wants to bring to your attention. When you are in a wounded version of yourself or your smaller self, you're going to end up trying to fix this feeling, okay? Trying to get rid of this icky, uncomfortable feeling of not feeling good, right? And then you end up doing more than you, you have to. And that's where you just want to recognize I am disconnected. I'm not feeling good about myself. I must go realign and reconnect. And you know what? Sometimes the best thing to do to trump fear is action, right? So use your hands, get your hands dirty, go do something, go create something, get out in the garden, go for a walk in nature, connect with the earth, maybe create something, some form of art. Here she is creating pottery. But either way, anytime you are feeling fearful in your life, don't sit and think because that is going to keep you disconnected from who you are, going to create all these illusions in our lives, right? Because again, anytime we think something and we pair it with emotion, it feels pretty real, right? So we can create a lot of scenarios out of nothing. But always know the name, name of the game is to always prioritize your connection with your higher self 
so that you are always living your best life for you. And now this is going to segue into your angel message of daydream. Your angels say to you, you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity and it truly is to really connect your higher self and stillness. If your thoughts are going, that's fine. Just observe them like clouds. No need to connect to any of them. Just observe them and almost take them, after you're done your meditation or your stillness, take a mental note of what's been, what's been on your mind the most frequently. What cloud came back the most frequently? That's how you know that's where most of your focus has been going, right? And then that allows us to regroup and reprioritize. Prioritizing what you would like to create in your life as opposed to what you don't want will always bring forward the results you're looking for. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.